Hello everybody, uh, my name is Benji Sor, and I make videos and then put them online so people can watch them. <laughs> uh, anyway, this particular game is Hardcore Conquest on Erica Harbor, which is from the Map Pack 1 DLC. I'm using the M1 Garand. Garand? Grand? I don't know. Uh, I'm using the M1. And my sidearm is the Rafika. And I have the Carl Gustav rocket launcher. And I have a pretty, pretty good game. Uh, unfortunately, my team loses. But that's kind of no fault of my own, I guess. I was, with the exception of a couple minutes, mostly running back and forth, jumping on flags. So, uh, I tried to do my part. Unfortunately, sometimes you're just on a team that doesn't really, uh, doesn't really do it. <laughs> uh, can't complain too much, though. I mean, uh, I, I, I can't complain because I can't control them. You know, I can't. <laughs> it's, that's not how it, it works. Uh. And I've lost my fair fair share of games to know that eventually you're going to win some. So I'll take a loss here and there. Actually, I take a lot of losses, but I kind of balance that out. It's a lot of wins. Well, good chunk of wins. I think I'm like one to one win loss. Maybe no. I have 1.5 win loss. Yeah, I have 1.5 win loss. 1.4 KD or something like that. I don't know. So I I win more games than I lose. So I j I try to do what I can to keep that going and this is conquest and conquest in this game is a different beast than conquest in bad company one or bad C battlefield two or battlefield 1942 or battlefield 1943 it's it's a conquest that's based almost entirely on uh playing it like team deathmatch uh you can win the only thing the flags do that I know of, I'm sure they, they may bleed a ticket like one every five seconds or so. But the flags give you the advantage of having spawn points. So the more flags you have, the more places you can spawn, and the more it confuses the enemy team as to where you're going to be attacking from. Uh, that's the only real advantage I could see to, uh, to this particular setup of Conquest. Uh, you'll notice my aim is quite fail in this quite a lot of points in this uh this game. This is the first game of the afternoon. Um the first game I'm always rusty. Uh it usually takes me a while to warm up, especially when I'm using a a gun like the M one or the M fourteen, you know, the semi autos. Uh they yes they're strong but uh, they do have a bit of a for me anyway, they take a little bit of time to warm up with. And I almost never uh have perfect aim with them when first came out out of the gate so to speak I, uh, I struggle with it uh, struggle with it at first it does take a while like I said for like the third time I think <laughs> uh, some of the aiming in this game is just in particular is pretty bad but I do have some awesome moments I have a uh, almost a four in one spray with the, gr with the grand which only has it, uh, eight bullets <laughs> in a magazine, so uh, that's a nice little moment that comes later near the end of the game. But I, I try to do my part to, to uh, help my team win here. Like I said, this version of Conquest is more of a team deathmatch style and less of a capture the flags and hold them style. So uh, sometimes you just gotta you gotta camp a little bit and try to uh, play for kills, because especially if your team, uh, it really depends on the uh, the person you are. My myself, when I play Conquest, I usually play it more for uh, for kills, but that's not saying I'm not gonna jump on flags. Like if I see an open flag and there's nobody or there's no enemy team around, or my team's trying to capture two flags, I'll jump on one of them to help. Uh, usually, when I'm the only one on the flag, I die, <laughs> especially in hardcore. And I think you see that a couple points in this game. Uh, you really do need at least two people on a flag. Uh, unless you're on a big map where you, 
or you have them pinned down somewhere and they can't get to the flag in time. But the vast majority of the time, I really think you need two people on the flag to uh, to capture it a lot easier. Uh, one person will probably die. You know, it depends on who that person is. If you get if you're really good with your uh, reaction time and you position yourself in the perfect spot, you can fend off a whole bunch of people. But most of the time, one person on a flag in hardcore will die. Uh, oh, excuse me. Now, uh, I know I I say this every time I put a video up on this map. Uh, I'm sorry for using this map, but especially for a, a an, an opening day, like at the very yeah, opening day, yeah, opening game. This is a good map for me because I like it. I do well on it. Uh, for some reason, it just seems to be my one of my things. So, uh, yeah, I'm sorry if I have a lot of videos on it. Yeah. I don't really like playing some of the other maps, uh, especially if I can't play in HD, because of the fact that they're really big and it's hard to see targets really far away if you're not playing in HD. And uh, Nice little double spray. Oh, yeah, shoot him in the legs. Shoot him in the legs. Got him. Anyway, uh, it's hard to see targets far away. Uh, you have no idea if they're playing in HD. They'll probably see you first, and then in hardcore, especially, you're going to die a lot. So I tend to avoid the long-range maps when I'm playing on and recording, just because it's uh, well for a couple reasons. It's hard to see targets, and also those games can be pretty slow and pretty long. That's why I only have one game on my channel from Erica Harbor Rush because that game that map usually takes 30 minutes on average to play a game and it's really hard to add it down to fit in 10 minutes for YouTube uh, without cutting it apart and I don't like cutting apart my videos so usually that's the biggest really indicator as to whether or not I play on a map if I'm, if I'm recording uh, I usually only play on a few maps when I'm not recording I'll play on whatever map shows up uh, then I can play in HD, and I really don't care if it, if, if it's bo long and boring to to uh, to watch or not. It's just uh, yeah. If I'm playing if I'm playing without recording, I, I'd all play totally different than I'm recording. I'd play it a lot more conservatively, a lot more uh, I snipe a lot more when I when I'm playing with and then when when I, when I don't record, I tend to snipe a lot more. Uh, I do snipe a lot when I'm recording too, but mostly it, when I'm not recording because the details in HD, it's hard to see sometimes when you're not playing in HD. So I I like to snipe more when I'm not playing. I think I play the bigger maps. I slightly different style of gameplay, but this is really kind of one of the maps where I, whether I'm recording and I do well on. So that's why I use it. I'll probably explain that every time I put a video up from this map. <laughs> uh, I am trying to play more maps, trying to learn the route, the routes, and the, you know, different uh, camping spots or sniping spots or rocket spots. I think it takes time because these maps, especially these maps, are uh, are pretty big, and it just takes a little bit of time to get used to sometimes. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard it or not, but. They are apparently releasing an onslaught mode for this game, which is uh, basically sounds to me like it's going to be a uh, survival style mode where you just put on a map and you have to do it. Uh, you have to play it, it's, so survive as long as you can. Uh, it is four player co op. It will be DLC. I have no idea if they're going to charge for it or not. Hopefully, they don't. Uh, but we'll find out, I guess, when it's released uh, sometime soon, hopefully. I mean, they announced it, so hopefully it'll be soon. I don't know any dates. I never, I haven't looked the dates up at all. So, I'm, I'm hoping it'll be soon. Uh, I don't like waiting. <laughs> I'm a very impatient person. But the game's pretty much over. Like I said, we lose right now. We, we have that annoying ass siren going off, which I really hate. The conquest siren. <laughs> uh, one of the things, another reason why I'm not a huge fan of conquest is that damn siren. Anyway, the game is basically over. I think it's like 10, 20 seconds left. So I'm just going to say uh, this has been Benji Sor playing some hardcore Conquest. And uh, until next time, happy fragging. <laughs>